Assalamualaikum, my name is Nusharina Bintia Ahmad DE170042 Today I'm going to present about final year project 2 with video demonstration The background of study uh, of this project is geared to a design system that can locate the faulty point in underground cable based on IEE bus system When fault occur, the foul floor is uh, redirected toward uh, the supply to the consumer is embedded. Uh, to achieve this, uh, the simulation model of IE bus system having 13 buses with using continuous wavelength transform and artificial neural network is to detect uh, the distant fault point in 100 km line. Then this project also create a single line to ground fault, double line to ground fault, uh, triple line to ground fault with different distributed parameter line. Uh, MATLAB simulation software will utilize to show how uh, the model is used to obtain the transient signal of the fault point in underground cable link system by shifting fault point. For problem statement, frequent fault in underground cable due to the breakdown of the polymer plastic insulation due to chemical action. Most underground cable are located by uh, unearthing the entire length or armor cable to able visual inspection to carry out. Uh, in, in case where visual inspection is not helpful, the entire length of the cable is replaced. This is type of solution. Also, a long outage of uh, electrical cable from services result of the more heavy losses of the power. Therefore, to overcome the problem, of all is underground cable, this project will apply non-stop parallel analysis for fault location detection and use uh, artificial neural network to train and analyze the performance of fault. While the distance of fault point from the source end is uh, calculated is using principle of the time domain reflectometry because the of the in the power framework have a recurrence current uh, and will create and spread along. The major objective of this project are to design a simulation model of IE bus system with 13 buses of underground cable of transmission line system using MATLAB simulation. To uh, second is to determine fault point and distant location from the source end of the underground cable using wavelength coefficient to analyze the performance of the ground fault uh, developed using wavelength analyzer and neural network. This project is concerned with scope of following the simulation model will perform uh, IE bus system having 13 bus and 16 line for underground cable system or transmission line. The system consists of 5 synchronous machines which is 3 of uh, generator and 2 condenser. They are 10 uh, load and having a net rail and reactive power demand of around 215 MW and 81.3 uh, MVR. The underground cable system is uh, in 100 km length with U uh, block uh, and scope at end sending. While the four point are used to obtain the voltage and current of transit signal, the model was developed based on same power system in MATLAB simulation software. The, the method in this project with uh, wavelength analysis and Continue uh, with the transform is where you analyze uh, the four point from different voltage and current at source end with uh, two time. The first uh, artificial neural network is trained and tested using data set collection performance with a different type of volt. The voltage and current data set were prepared by creating a single line to the voltage and current data set were prepared by creating a single line to ground fault, double line to ground fault, and triple line to ground fault at different distributed parameter line. So this is underground cable system that I'm going to show how to get the, the voltage and current fault signal. First we try the single line to ground fault. And as, as can you see, these are the single line for the voltage for and current for. So we try the for the coefficient, continuum with left. So this is for the voltage. Voltage for. Here are four. You 
between the line and this is delay on set in 1.36 so this is the current fault in bus fault at bus fault so next I will try the double line to ground fault and we run and we get at bus 9 this is a transient signal of work and current for at bus 9 so you can see there are two line for double line to ground for and this is a fault for current signal and we try for the caucasian line and we find for voltage for at bus 9 and we analyze that the coefficient line there have small scale then we try for the current fault there are two fault you can see they have a long scale for so they uh, stretches the line and we try for the triple line to ground fault and we run and we run the simulation so this is the voltage fault at waveform and the current waveform and we try at the uh, continuous wavelet if we can see the coefficient line there are three fault in there so this is for the voltage voltage transient signal at the coefficient line so we try for the current we analyze that the, this is the coefficient line of current fault signal there are three there are three fault in there we can analyze that and you can see there are delay at uh we can see the delay at time 1.35335 around that so we try to analyze for perform performance using neural network tool we in, we press we choose for the input and target at bus for 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 single line to ground for so we use for five sample validation for the hidden layer we choose 18 hidden layer and we train we wait for a minute if you can see the the value of MSE is over one so there are some error and this is a validate, validation performance that we can see uh, the training stop after it pours thousands and we get the validation performance so this is uh, error histogram with 20 bin and you can see that the mid plot of the error for the training for validation and test then for the regression fit with uh, output versus target we can analyze that then this is a plot fit this is for the current fault we choose we assume a uh, use a current fault at bus fault so this is the result for the current fault at bus fault there are some error and then we try for input and target of at bus 9 then we train the performance and we get the validation performance for MSE we get 0 0.00177 and, and the training stop at after a push 1000 so for this is a error histogram and the mid plot for the train 
when we get 0 0.00733 so the data lies in this border regression this is the result for overall we get uh, 0 0.99 so it's close to the relationship so this is a plot fit for target and which is uh, the area is obtained based on output and target target for the data so we try for a triple line to ground for at bus na uh, sorry at bus A so we train the and we analyze the performance of current fault data at bus A so this is the validation performance we get a 0.001167 is stop training after a push 1000 then this is a error histogram the mid plot is around negative 0 0.005 or uh, four sorry then this is for regression fit output uh, with the target when we get so this is the plot fit and the result we get for the after we evaluate the four performance this for triple line to ground four the conclusion of this project is to learn an accurate technique for identification train and tested the performance and analysis of fault have been obtained the underground power cable is designed using MATLAB simulating based on IE bus system with 13 buses and response of the complete system is evaluated for different fault. Initially, the fault distance is estimated for single fault, double line to ground fault, triple line to ground fault. The method utilizes uh, the simple of voltage and current signal extract from the setting. It is found that the fault of voltage and current signal and the accuracy and analysis of detection of fault in underground cable by using continuous wireless transform coefficient if there thereby can conclude that application of continuous wireless transform with artificial neural network based on traveling wave and analysis is good choice in the power system artificial neural network for training and analyze the performance of fault data